Day two of what will be at least a six-week trial has been spent picking through the past of Pascal Simbi in Kangwa. Uh, the main question uh, this Wednesday was what exact position did he held, hold in 1994 when the genocide began? Um, uh, Pascal Simbi Kangwa was a soldier uh, in Rwanda until 1986 when he had a car accident that left him in a wheelchair. Um, this, at this time he changed and went into the intelligence services uh, and worked there, he says, as an agent and nothing more in no... Um, uh, uh, managerial position right up until 1992. He was paid until 94, but he says that as of 1992, when a coalition formed in Rwanda, now a coalition between uh, a group of minority Tutsis who had been fighting, uh, basically the Hutus who were already, already in power, you know, war was already breaking out there since the, the turn of the decade. Uh, they formed a coalition government in 92, at which time Simbi Kangwa insists he was basically pushed aside and really had no real function anymore within even the intelligence services. Um, this uh, uh, version of the past has been completely rejected by the plaintiffs, as one would maybe expect. They insist that Simbi Kangwa was part of the Azuku, that is the inner circle of uh, the president of the time, Juvenal Habyarimana, um, and they say they have tons of witness statements uh, saying that people who saw Simbi Kangwa arm militia at the time and give orders at the checkpoints uh, that the army would kill any Tutsis coming up to those checkpoints. Now, indeed, one witness statement was read out in court court this morning, um, to which uh, Simbi Kanga simply replied that that uh, person, that witness, was a liar.